Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to learn about beam and types of beams. So let's get started. So first of all, what is beam? What is beam in structural engineering? So the basic definition of beam is it's a structural element that is primarily resists loads applied perpendicularly to its longitudinal axis. So the basic functionality of beam in a structural member is to resist loads which is applied perpendicularly to its longitudinal axis. Now let's see what are the types of beams we have in structural engineering. So basically beams has been classified into two categories. One is based on support conditions and the second one is based on cross section. Now let's see types of beams based on support conditions. These are the beams based on support conditions. Simply supported beam, fixed beam, cantilever beam, continuous beam and overhanging beams. Now let's know in detail about each and every type of beams. A beam which is supported at both the ends with one end typically pinned and the other end supported by roller or hinge. This type of beam is called simply supported beams. So the basic characteristics of this simply supported beam is it allows rotation but not translation at supports. A beam which is fixed at both the ends are called fixed beams. So the basic characteristics of fixed beams are it resists bending and also twisting. So the basic purpose of fixed beams are to prevent rotation and translation. And when the beam is fixed at one end and free at other end, then that particular beam is called cantilever beam. The basic characteristics of cantilever beam is it can resist bending moments and shear forces at the fixed end. And if a beam extends over more than two supports, then it is called continuous beams. So basic characteristics of continuous beam is it reduces bending moments due to its continuity over multiple supports. So the basic and very important functionality of continuous beams are it can reduce bending moments due to its continuity over multiple supports. And finally, in this category, the last type of beam is overhanging beams. A beam which extends over more than two supports, either one or both ends extending beyond its supports, then it is called overhanging beams. And now, the second category in types of beams, which is beams based on cross section. So basically, the cross section resembles the type of beam here. So we have I beam or else we can call it as H beam. And the second one is C beam or channel beam. The next one is T beams and the final one box beams. So these are the four types of beams which is categorized based on cross section. Now let's see in detail about these type of beams. I beams. So the cross section resembles the letter I or H. So we can call it as H beam or else I beam. So the basic characteristics of I beams are it's very efficient in resisting the bending moments due to its particular shape. The I shaped beams are commonly used in steel frame constructions. And the next one is C beams, which is also called as channel beams. So the 
cross section resembles the letter called c that's the reason why we call it as c beam or else we can call it as channel beams so basically c beams are used as a support for lighter loads so these beams are very much preferred in residential buildings construction rather than heavy construction or else commercial constructions and the next one is t beams so here the cross section of a beam represents t so we call it as t beams these t beams are used in the combination with reinforced concrete slabs and the last type of beam in this particular category is box beams so the reason why we call box beam is the cross section was very hollow with a box shape so the major advantage is it is lighter than solid beams and it can be installed very easily and this is about beams and types of beams thanks for watching please do subscribe to my channel and encourage me to do more videos